The backhand loop is a type of shot used to attack and counter long pushes or chop. In this video, I will share 3 practical tips that significantly improve my backhand from looking like this. To this. The very first step to increasing the quality and the consistency of the backhand loop is to have the correct footwork. The feet must first be spread apart. For right-handed players, the left foot will be slightly in front of your right foot. Now a key step is to place the weight of your body to the front of your feet. The main reason for this is that the backhand loop will require micro adjustments depending on the length and the height of the backspin ball. By shifting the weight to the front of the feet, you can easily move your body around quickly. Now speaking of moving, the backhand loop will usually come after doing a short push. This means that moving from the short push position to the backhand loop position must be done quickly and efficiently. An exercise drill that I like to do to improve my footwork is standing like before, then placing my right foot forward to push the ball and then immediately jumping back to the backhand loop position. You can repeat this drill multiple times to get used to the footwork. Now the next step is using the body and the legs correctly in order to efficiently transfer the power into the ball. So once you get into the correct position, bend down your legs and shift your weight a bit to the left leg. This will allow you to use your waist and your body to rotate into the ball. The arms will then drop until the bat is around the knee level. In this stage, I like to relax my arms a bit to prevent stiffness in the stroke. Now when doing the backhand loop, the knees will extend, the waist will rotate a bit, and the arms will swing forward all in one fluid motion. So remember to use the legs, the waist, and the arms together to create the huge power burst. Now a common mistake I used to do was that I would bend down and drop my arms. But when I did the backhand loop, I would move my arms first before really moving my leg. This made my shot significantly weaker and I would also have to swing my arms almost excessively to get any power on the ball. The next tip is basically paying attention to the technical details that significantly affects the quality of the backhand loop. The first technical detail is how to use the wrist. Personally, I do not recommend using too much wrist motion, especially during the contact of the ball. Although the wrist adds significant acceleration, using them just as you contact the ball will make the ball highly inconsistent. This is especially the case since we are already adding a lot of power from our legs, our waist, and our arms. If you want to use the wrist, what I like to do instead is to use it gradually. The next technical detail is paying attention to the bat angle. Since we have generated a lot of power from our core and legs, the bat angle should be more closed at around 45 degrees. If we open the bat angle too much, it will lift the ball a lot while not really providing any momentum forward. Now as a result, the loop will be high and slow and may even go over the table. However, using a bat angle that is too close will not provide enough upward force. As a result, the ball will drop into the net. Now the last step would be to analyze the incoming ball, specifically on how long the ball travels along the table. You can also analyze the amount of spin on the ball, but try not to worry too much about the incoming spin. So when the opponent chops or pushes the ball, the first thing to do is to predict how far the ball will go. If the push is half long, prepare to move forward closer to the table. Now if you predict that the push will go long, move backwards quickly by moving our leg. The best time to contact the ball is when it bounces at its highest point, or just as it starts to fall down a bit. And remember that since the ball has backspin, it may slow down and break a bit as it bounces on your side of the table, so do not stand too far back. So the best way to get used to all these micro adjustments is by practicing a lot. Try to go with a slower and consistent backhand loop before trying to increase the power.